In this video, we will be looking at how to extract password information from the ntds.dit file. This dit file is the Active Directory database. There's a copy of it stored on every domain controller, and it contains all the account information as well as password secrets from your Active Directory domain. If you're able to compromise this file, you can extract all of the password hashes from all of the accounts in Active Directory. You do need privileged access to get to this, but once you have this file, you have access to every account in the domain. So let's take a look at how an attacker could compromise this file. First, if you look at an Active Directory domain, let's see where this file is stored. In the Windows NTDS directory, you'll find the ntds.dit file there. You may be tempted to just try to copy that file and save it off somewhere. If I put it in my temp directory here, you can see I can try, but this file is constantly in use by the Active Directory service, so you're not gonna get to it that easily unless you stop the service, which is something an attacker would try to avoid doing. So, let's look at another way to get to it. One common approach is using volume shadow copies, which is built into Windows and always available for an attacker, and this creates a copy of the C drive, and then you can copy the DIT file out of that where it will not be locked anymore. So to do that, I'm going to use the VSS admin create shadow command and I'm going to say do it for uh, the entire C drive. And there you go, it's created a copy of the entire C drive and now I have a location where I can interact with that copy. So from there, I can make a copy of this Windows NTDS and put it in my temp file, in my temp directory. So now you can see I was able to get the DIT file copied out there. Okay, that's step one. What do I need to do next? Well, in the DIT file, everything is encrypted with a local uh, system value that you need to use if you're going to decrypt that. So what I'm going to do is copy that from the registry actually into the same directory so now I have that system information which I can use to decrypt the DIT file. Now I have all of that, I'm going to use a PowerShell module from DS Internals to query and retrieve information from the DIT file. And now this does not need to be done from a domain controller. You can take this file offline and perform this extraction. So it's very difficult to detect. Um, I'm gonna load up my DS Internals here and use the first get boot key command to set a uh, parameter to the value of my boot key. So I'm going to specify my location there. Now I have that key, I'm gonna use the get addb account, pass in all flag to get all accounts, let it know where my boot key is, and where my database is which is my copy I, I, served, I stored in the temp directory. So, you might see this message, the database is not in a clean state, try to recover it first. This can happen if you create a copy while Active Directory is actively using the database. So, there's a pretty straightforward solution to that. I'm going to use a utility from Microsoft to do disk repair, pass in these parameters, this will be available on the page and you can see it defrags and has successfully recovered this file. Let's try that again. And there you go. So now you can see for every account in my domain, I have, let's see, information. Here's a user Buster. And here's his NTLM hash, his hash history, all the information I would need about his account to, to start performing past the hash or start cracking these passwords if I want to get the clear text. Again, all this can be done offline without access to the network, without access to the domain controller, once you're able to perform that initial compromise of that ntds.dit file. So to read more about this, you can look at the attack page where we have additional information on what you can do, not only to detect this, but to protect yourselves from these types of attacks.
To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com attack.